Hi, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Come on with me. Okay, now today it's going to be a four card oracle with diet at cross divination at the end. So four cards, you pick one of them or two of them or three of them or all of them. Uh, decide what your question is and then we'll do a, an extended uh, divination uh, afterwards. So. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Conn Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys... Um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things, uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collin. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently, he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, there you go. So, these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy-to-read uh, tarot card. Now, put them out like this so that you can take a look at them, too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Okay, so this will be a four-card oracle. You pick with Diet Cross. Finish four cards. There'll be one, two, three, four. You choose your card for your question. Um, yes, no, or maybe answers will come up. And then uh, we'll do a full uh, Diet Cross six-card uh, divination for each of those choices after that's done. Okay, so here we go. Four-card oracle. You're going to pick one, two, three, or four, or a few of those. Okay, so... One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So remember, you can uh, one, two, three, four. You can stop this tape if you need to take a minute, decide which card's for you. One, two, three, four. Take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. Just get relaxed. Maybe stop the tape and get yourself a drink of water, a cup of tea, or a cup of coffee, whatever it is that helps to soothe you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So now we'll start to turn these cards over and see what messages we have for you today. Okay, so number one card is the Queen of Swords. This is a yes card. And the Queen of Swords, the swords are uh, tr uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. Queen of Swords is an action queen. She's taking this sword uh, and she's going to uh, wield her truth, her justice, her rules, and the law. So this is yes. This is going to be a big yes with lots of um, authority behind it. It's it's grounded in those four things. So if you chose number two, okay, this is the two of wands. This is also a yes card. And the two of wands, wands are uh, action, uh, power, plans, forward movement, fire. And uh, so this Two of Wands has got one uh, plan, one action firmly uh, set down, some more, uh, another idea is coming to him. And uh, so this is a yes card, and it's telling you that uh, uh, this is a yes card, and let's get a plan involved in this. If you chose number three, okay, this is a great big yes card. This is the Ace of Cups, but this is a compassionate. Cups are passion, compassion, emotion, uh, deep felt feelings. And so this uh, great big Ace of Cups is a, is a huge yes, but um, with some compassion uh, that should accompany that yes. We chose number four, and we've got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is, um, is the leader. These are the rules that we live by. Um, the Hierophant is a major arcana. He's number five. 
uh, in the journey. So he's, you know, about a, a fourth of the way through the fool's journey. And this is where it gives you some structure. So this is also a yes card. But again, pay attention to the rules, the, uh, the way that this uh, should be uh, conducted. Now we're turning these over and we'll go back to the number one card. Queen of Swords is a signifier for this one. So what can we tell you today about this Queen of Swords for you? Queen of Swords for you. Queen of Swords. That's the card you chose for the issue that you're looking for guidance. Five cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. I'll let this work on that energy right there and see what is the challenge to this Queen of Swords. Oh, you know what? I'm going to turn off this overhead light so we can reduce the glare. So just hang on. I'll be right back. This should be a little improved now, actually. So the challenge to this card is transition. Uh, transition is uh, the death card in most of the uh, decks. This is number 13 of the Major Arcana. And so this is the end of something else, the beginning of another thing. So we're coming out of the darkness and into the light. Okay, the death card, the definite end of something. So this Queen of Swords, who wants to wield her truth, justice, rules, and her law, is challenged by the end of something right here. So that's a, um, just something to be mindful of. The base of this reading, then, with this Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is the Knight. This is the fellow in the Royal Suit who's going to go fight for what uh, for the action he's been given. It's a compassionate situation, uh, full of emotion, and his uh, steed is a little hesitant. You can see in the eyes of that that horse. He's kind of reining him back. Uh, uh, to show a little uh, uh, compassion in this issue. So the base of this reading uh, is that Knight of Swords. Let's make sure everything started out with some sort of a huge offer of compassion, a little bit reined in. The uh, past of this reading is the Fool. Interesting. So this is the beginning of a journey. Uh, the Fool is, has started something new. And no sooner has he started than we see here that this is going to be the end and something else is going to happen. So we came into this feeling like this was a new journey. In the sky of this reading, we have the Page of Cups. So the Page is the fellow who brings this idea to court. And again, we have Cups. Again, we have emotion. We have compassion. We have heartfelt feelings with some surprises. And so this Page is saying, listen, this is what I've got. I'm offering it to you. I don't know what to do with it. You guys are the wise ones. So we should uh, aim to uh, understand that this is the beginning of something here, the beginning of an, of an emotional situation, just like this transition indicated to us. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing, oh, this is beautiful. With this uh, eight of uh, pentacles is the apprentice really practice craft. This is value. This can be money. Um, and this is a practice situation uh, for the yes card. So just to go over it again. So the queen of swords comes in all gangbusters and she's met immediately with the, uh, this transition, this death, this end of one thing and the beginning of another. And it's uh, underpinned by this uh, compassionate uh, force, uh, which uh, we felt was just the beginning of this journey. Uh, the page of cups, again, all of this kind of calls for some compassion and some emotion. And then uh, understand that once we realize we had a start, now we've got to stop. And uh, the trip that we're going to begin on is going to be something that displays our expertise, our knowledge, our knack for getting this done. It's a valuable situation to us. Yeah, that's the number one card, if that's what you chose. Now we'll do the number two, if that's the card you chose. And the signifier for that. This is two of wands. Remember, wands are actions, plans, uh, forward movement, uh, short-term plans, really. Usually something that gets you going onto the, um, onto the action that's the main player in the situation. This is a yes card, but with paying attention to um, the plans that could be involved. We'll take five cards to get started. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Let this work on that energy. Get back over here. The challenge to this two of wands, short-term plans, the lovers. Okay, partnerships. This is the major arcana. So this is something to really pay attention to. Okay, we, we want to find the right partnership. Uh, it can be another person. It can be some information. It could be um, just putting the pieces together of the puzzle. But uh, for this plan to be successful, it's challenged by getting the right partnership 
in there. So let's uh, uh, study uh, what we're doing. In the uh, base of this reading, we have judgment. Okay, so judgment is uh, really passing down the rules, saying, look, I know how this is supposed to be, and you may not like uh, what uh, we have to follow, but these are the truths, the rules that we're going to make an action on. So judgment. The past of this reading with that page of cups repeating, and I love it when they do that. Uh, so this page of cups is saying, listen, I'm going to offer you this bit of compassion uh, for this uh, journey that you're embarking on here. In the sky of this reading is this five, six, seven of pentacles. And the seven of pentacles is kind of looking back at what we've done and saying, you know, was that enough? Is there more that could have been done? Um, have I have I uh, made this as, as profitable as it can be or as valuable as it should be? And um, so that's interesting. That's what we aim for, getting just the most value out of this decision that we possibly can. And then the, uh, ah, this is very good. So the final um, uh, outcome of this is the Three of Wands, which is the long-term plan. And so that's excellent. We started out with a short-term plan, just enough to get our foot going in the right direction and reminding us to look for the per perfect pairing that goes with that. It could be a person, could be a rule, could be uh, a piece of your puzzle. We started out here with a judgment and say, we may not like what this is, but this is what has to happen. Offering of compassion here to get this thing going. Really aim to get it as perfect as you can. And then this will be a major um, movement on that long-term plan that uh, you may be thinking of. So that was an a yes card also. Okay, I'm going to put these back in here and get going on that third card, if that's the one that you chose. And this is the Ace of Cups. Again, this is compassion, passion, emotion, heartfelt, just really deep, deep, deep seated um, in your psyche. And uh, it's moving forward. This Ace of Cups is a great big push in that forward direction. Five cards, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. One more card to finish up on there. The challenge to this Ace of Cups, then, is this Knight of Cups. That's very interesting. So the Knight is going to, is the challenge to this great big emotional offering is this Knight who wants to get things going. Let's get this out uh, into the world. That's the challenge of that. The base of this reading, then, another Knight of Wands, who this guy is saying it's equally important to get our plans right, okay, to set this in motion in the way that's most advantageous. In the past of this reading is this Queen of Wands. Wow. And so the Queen of Wands is saying not only uh, is it important to get this thing moving, we came into this understanding that this plan, this action, um, th th is of very much importance. In the sky of this reading, ah, with this uh, two of pentacles, pentacles are value, worth, sometimes money, but it's really weighing the value of what we're dealing with here and getting that balance just right. Because look, this is something that's going to be, uh, everyone's going to be looking at. And the uh, likely outcome of this, the, the queen of pentacles again, is saying, yeah, once we've sorted all this out, we're going to be fully in charge of the value of this decision. And, uh, and it's going to be a strong one. Love that. That was a nice divination right there. That's number three. Number four is what you chose. And we're going to finish that divination off. Number four with the Hierophant. Lots of authority, uh, lots of rules to pay attention to. Uh, so let's do this in the correct way. Okay. These cards are not part of this divination. They're just part of what we did before. Okay. So the Hierophant is telling us, pay attention to what I'm telling you, because this is how this is going to happen. And if you're going in some other direction, you will be going against the judgment of the Hierophant. So five cards, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're done with these cards for now. We'll see what we what challenge we have for this authoritative Hierophant. Well, we have the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands wants to, and the cards are repeating, this Queen wants to get this action going, okay? She's very comfortable in her decision, but guess what? Even the Queen has to obey by the rules. <clears throat> the basis of this reading then, ah, with this Nine of Cups, is wishes fulfilled. This is called the Greedy Merchant, and he's just here showing, just displaying all his trophies, all of the compassion. There's something around the table for everyone because he's been very fruitful in his uh, journey himself. So we come into this as a uh, uh, as the the person who has got lots of compassion uh, to share with everyone. And if you don't feel like that's been the case, then stop right now and really give this some more consideration and see if you can't get yourself to this point. The uh, past of this reading then 
is this five and um, five, oh, five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles is feeling left out in the cold. And we can see that this uh, maiden is a bit blindfolded. She has, uh, you know, um, I want to say a cupid, but a, uh, a little angel uh, re reaching down to help her out of those blinds and to give her some assistance. So we may have felt like we were kind of left in the blind. Okay, when we came into this, the sky of this reading with the hermit again, the hermit is introspection, uh, careful guidance, careful uh, study about what we're going into before we make a move forward. See, and then the um, likely outcome with the materialism. Gosh, materialism, I'm not sure what. Oh, this is the devil. Oh, yeah. So we have to be careful because, listen, it's going to be a slippery slope to uh, to not fall into some sort of a lesser intention. We can be chained to the emotions, chained to the value, chained to the uh, to the rules, justice, truth, law, or the or the ones, this action, this, this plan. Um, and so we have to be uh, careful uh, of this uh, pitfall right here of materialism, uh, the devil, uh, in this decision. It's a yes decision, but let's be thoughtful about it because it looks like we're anxious to get this moving. Okay, so those are the cards we have today for this four card oracle. I hope that's been useful for you. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.